From the grid, on the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. We gon' talk about it all on the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. We gon' leave it all on the floor with Chow. On the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. We gon' talk about it all on the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. On the floor with Chow Flow. We gon' leave it all on the floor with Chow Flow. Yo, 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 it's the biggest voice on the low. We on the floor with the show. Hey, man, say, y'all see her, fine and beautiful, Miss Queen Frenchie! <laughs> Frenchie fucking game, bop. Bop. Man, yeah. y'all better quit playing with her. Better. Miss Frenchie, what's up? Well, you know, everything is up and it's always, stuck, you always, know. Always, um, always. Right now I'm working on, well, not even working, my EP will be coming out, hmm. so December the 3rd, my EP will be dropping. Oh, look out. Vicious. Vicious. Yes, and I just posted my pride, my mic check, check hmm. me out at Original Frenchy Frenchy on Instagram. Man, yeah. say. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at you, Miss French. Okay, you always friend. popping your shit. I, I always, be, always. And also, I have um, a podcast show, Speaking Facts. Got Check right. me out every Wednesday, hmm. Speaking Facts. That's that. And you already going viral. That, was that your first episode? I seen you just. Yes. That's the first one. And you. Yes. You doing some numbers already? Cause you had me fired <laughs> up. You gonna keep? I'm oh talking yes, about, yes, yes. Nah, yes. you gonna have a spicy on. And there. you can definitely bring up them topics. Man, now, you already you know. know. We gonna we gonna get I'm to ready. it. We gonna get to it. We already know, but for the folks that don't know about you, tell me a little about yourself. Where are you from and how you come? Okay, I'm from Louisiana, okay. born, you know, um, raised Dallas, okay. so triple triple D that still, yeah, you know, always, um, for sure. yeah, um, that's pretty much that. You know, I'm about my music, my money, mm -hmm. my family. No, sure. I have my own business. I do manicures and pedicures. Whoop, yeah, whoop. and um, check me out on that too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So what was you like growing up as a kid? Was you into sports? Was you like on some country stuff? I was you definitely love? um I was definitely on some country stuff. Okay. Because okay. I came out here at fifteen. Okay. So like and I'm from Natchitoches. No, for sure. So negative. Neck town, hold it down. Neck town, crack God town. Right. Okay, God so. Damn right. God damn right. <laughs> um, shout out mean. to um the square, all that shit. All it. Yeah, we we coming. Yeah. So um, but yes, yeah, so when I did come out here, I was country as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like um, there is finally Mexicans in negative now. So Not back sure. then they didn't even have. Wasn't nothing but white and black folks. Yes, it was yeah. just that. So um. When I came out here, I would definitely say I was in lane because I was fine, mm -hmm. you know. So, but I wasn't on what they was on. Like That's they was right. able to wear color hair and all that good shit. I was calm. I went to school, did my work, pretty fine. That yeah. was pretty much that, you know. A lot, but a lot of people thought I was gay because I wasn't. I wasn't fucking. Mm. So. I, I I don't know what to say, but I wasn't a loser. I was definitely <laughs> popping. Yeah. I was just like. A little more conservative because I came from the country, mm -hmm. you know. So even when I um, came out here, I seen gay people for the first time. No, for sure. Love the gay people, but yeah. when I was um, fifteen out there in Negative, we didn't see it one gay person. It's, it's small town, though. You yeah. know how it is. You know the sheriff. You went yeah. to high school. Yes. school with the it's sheriff. one high like, school. Yeah, it's, it's like, like everything. No, for sure. So that was pretty much that, you know. So then. Then I just got known for being, you know, my hair. But that's one thing. I think that really just made me pop in. So I was pretty much a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. I kept the hair done. Okay. You know, um, I say like at 16, 17, I started working, started my, getting my is hair done. Mom like that, granny like that. What no, the, my mama it, actually natural and she's country okay. and she's a Christian. Okay. So, you know, a lot of things I say she don't be agreeing with, like I say about the side bitches. Mm -hmm. She's like, uh uh. But I'm like, mama, even in the Bible. I seen mama get on there. Yeah, like yeah. even in the Bible, they had multiple women, multiple wives. So. Yeah. You know, but yeah, so you know. But she gonna say that's old testament. That's not new testament. That's exactly. I mean, but that's it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, you know, but in but, some in some parts of the world, they're still doing it. They still mm -hmm. practice that. You know, they have. That and I don't see nothing wrong with it if you can afford it and you can actually take care of them mentally and physically. No, for sure. I don't see anything wrong with it. No, for sure. I mean. To each his own. If it fit, it fit. Because some it, things don't work for uh -huh. everybody. Yeah. Like I what? tell y'all, fellas. Stop yeah. biting out more than y'all can chew. That. Because, I mean, it's, one is hard. 
these women that like they they emotionally yeah and and, and, I, and the thing about that I always say I don't you know I don't have a problem with it but I never had to experience it either mm-hmm. so I always been good enough for my man no, for sure. So, you know, but if it was ever to come to that and I really love a man. You ain't never had a man cheat on you? I didn't have a man cheat on me. Okay. But I was I, I was the main. Yeah. You know, like, it wasn't no bitch walking through my house. It wasn't no, you. like, he hit the bitch. She had to come and tell me. I wouldn't have, I was a lot of land. You sure. know, so. But, you know, so again, if it came down to it and, and I really love a man and he was to be like, I want this bitch too. I'm not going to give my man up because he want another bitch. Hmm. So what you finna go snag her or what? Oh, I'm not like, gonna snag her. He gonna can, snag he gonna the bitch. Snag he the gonna bitch. do what Did he you? gotta do. Yeah, and I'ma still be in my position because I feel like I don't wanna, you know. But, so you saying? So but you look, saying? I had took this already fast, but let's get back to but, it. But oh, no, no we we look, we show for the go there. We taking this fast. We, look, we show for the go there, but no, I'm just saying. But yeah, you was growing up. Mama was raising you on some lady shit. Yes, and my um my father too. I have a father. He's still alive. Um, he's eighty five now. Man. Yes, yeah, so um he actually was a teacher for thirty five years. Mm-hmm. So um definitely and I never seen him with multiple women, so I don't even know why the fuck I be seeing it. Hmm. But I don't know. You know, so but y'all yes, have a father figure. Definitely wasn't out there as no hoe. Been in Dallas a while. That's not what I'm I'm known for. Um definitely I'm definitely a vibe. No, for sure. So I'm a, I'm a vibe, you know, you I'm open, I'm humble, and I love communication. No, for sure. Did you go to school for that? No, I didn't. What did you, what did you do after high school? Where you was at after high okay, school? Okay, after high school, I was a full time mom. Full time mom. Yes, my um daughter father is older, so okay. he's fifty now. Man, he's, yeah, fifty three. How did that? Then, how did that? How it happened was he was there, like he was there for me mentally. You know, mm-hmm. to be honest, I moved from Louisiana from having my father figure. You know, my mom and us we moved out here, and it just so happened that. I had got a job and he was working. He had a barber shop right across the way. And as soon as I turned eighteen, he snagged me on up and locked me down. Yeah. For how many years? Just for, for, for about four or five years. Yeah. It was just housewife. You That's just, it. Didn't have to work. Didn't have to do nothing. Yeah. I actually started complaining. Can you believe my dumb ass was complaining? I mean, no, but I hate because I mean, because sir, sir, hold on, look. <laughs> But, I, but, but it's just like it's like some women be like, man, like I'm not doing nothing. I'm not applying myself just sitting in this house. Out. Some but women you know are feeling. Yes, I definitely got tired of um, just doing a. It wasn't even that. I just knew my potential because I always go viral. Mm-hmm. So like I say, like about about twenty three, I noticed that I kept going viral, and he owned the barber shop, and this is what really pissed me off. You know, um, I had told him I was like, because girls would ask me about my hair because he kept me. He kept me good. Like, he really took care of me. Some niggas just pay the bills and some niggas take care of me. Mm-hmm. You know, but I was like, um, I need to start selling hair because, mm-hmm. you know, all these girls coming to me and I'm going viral. And he told me, no, he was like, just stay home with the baby, which is understanding, understandable, too. But I could have stood still been at home. Selling I got shit. shipping package, baby. That, you know, so, but then he ended up letting... A guy in his shop sell hair. Hmm. That shit fucked me up. Hmm. You know, I was like, now hold on. I don't mind you. I love to, for a man to provide for me fully. Hmm. Let me make it clear. But when I know that I can make our bag bigger and I know it and the proof is in the pudding and you just pass me up for a nigga that ain't, ain't even going to give you a percentage on that shit, hmm. it fucked me up. But yeah, I didn't have to work. I didn't have to do none of that. And that's pretty much what I did. You know, then I started um, selling plates because i can cook like a mother like a motherfucker you okay. know i can cook okay. um and that's pretty much what's that. your dish what's you cooking what you uh, soul food soul food what's yes. your what's your I, plate my yeah. plate is meatloaf i know a lot of okay. people like it eh, but if my shit is good I, I fuck with meatloaf. yeah they be trying to get me matter of fact shay trendy was trying to get me to sell my shit to um cook for her some years ago for sure. at one of her shops so sure. meatloaf um greens um, sweet potatoes, cornbread, you can, sweet. You can greens or you washing your... What I'm you? definitely washing my greens. Oh, no, no. Yes, no, no, I'm not no, no. gonna... Okay. I don't do canned shit. Okay, That's can, nasty okay. to me. For I don't sure. know. It's just something about 
and being stuck in a can mm-hmm. and being able to stay like that no, for a long period of time that disgusts me. So what you getting ready for Thanksgiving right now? You already prepping tomorrow. Or? Tomorrow, yeah, I'm gonna start cooking after I get off work tomorrow. What, what you bring to the table? What you? I don't even know. That's what's what said. I probably do a dress and something because I'm going to my god friend's mother house. Yeah. So you know, I don't have to do that much. So, no, so well, yeah, and my daughter is gone with her father, so. I don't need, I don't have to cook that big and I'm okay with that. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. Friendsgiving? Any Friendsgiving going on? No, no Friendsgiving. My friend Rosie. Okay. Got Rosie. a man now. Rosie. Yes, Rosie. And um she's I don't know what she's doing. She didn't invite me or nothing. So you, kind you know fucked up about that, Rosie. Huh? Not really fucked up, but I totally understand because it's women. We have to when we get a man that's taking care of us how a man take care of us. Gotta lock in. Gotta lock the fuck in. Yeah. Now if you got a friend that be like, girl, why are you doing that hoe a hater? Hey, no. She hating. You she gotta lock in way. with your man because yeah. I ain't gonna take care of Rosie like her man. I, yeah. I can't, you know, coochie, I can't pay your bills. Yeah. I can't hold you. I ain't doing none of that. I can't yeah. fuck you. Go to your man. I understand. Go to your man. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure. <laughs> and fellas, we gotta learn to do the same because most of us, you can't get in the feelings when you ain't seen your partner every day. These yep. got bills, they got kids, they got and they got their girl. girl. Like, nigga, when we get around that age, yep. nigga, we you kinda, gotta keep, you gotta get it going. Yeah, man. So when we go out, we can't be 10 just sitting in one section not popping no bottles. We gotta do you know, I totally agree. It's on another level, though. But anyway, what we had next? What you was? So how did you get into the rap? What, where did all that come from? What did was it just marketing at first, or what? Like? It was definitely okay. So it's so funny because like I remember at eleven, or maybe I was twelve and my little brother was nine. We stayed in Nagatish. Mm-hmm. We shared we shared the same room and everything, and we were freestyle. Mm-hmm. You know what? I used to cook freestyles. Now I don't freestyle. I write my music no, unless sure. I'm drunk and high mm-hmm. and having fun. I mm-hmm. freestyle then, you know. But um, I knew back then I wanted to do music, but my brother is a preacher. Okay, and I skipped school, and my my daddy was the principal, and like mm. I think I was like. Matter, like fast forward so I started at 11 freestyling and stuff with my brother in the room then about 13 I skipped school to go watch BET because BET was lit back then no, okay? so. that was, that I was, was like I gotta watch this gotta you know I'm right. gonna miss it and my brother came and he got on my ass like country ass whipping and I just stopped but then fast forward to 2020 I got booked for a music video and it was so motherfucking lit hmm and I got caught up in the moment. And as I seen this nigga rapping and throwing bands and, and going, I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I can do this. The star was born. Yeah, that it was, right. it was up. Like, yeah, this it is was it. up from this there. I'm like, you know what? It's up. Let me get yeah. on my shit. No, for sure. He actually taught me how to do bars, though. Like, mm-hmm. He break taught me how to yeah, to mm-hmm. um, break it down, do bars, and this and that. So I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I got back into music. Okay. Yes. So that's just and then you already got your song. So where, mm-hmm. where the visuals at? We gonna we gonna drop some visuals soon? Yes, how we, actually, what we got coming? Actually, so of course I did the mic check for Pride. You know, um I have Vicious, my single Vicious and Fees. So I have two singles I'm gonna push. And then I have my EP, so I have two videos coming that's going to be lit in the motherfucker. And also, I'm going to go back to that thumbing because everybody, Cam, shout out to Cam. She had us in her dance. Yeah, I I had them in here, Bobby. Yeah, I got them right. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to um, Shay Trendy. Shout out to Hart. But Cam, she been really on my nerves about me doing a visual to thumbing. So I said, Mm. let me. But you know... That's a that's a sample beat for cash money. So no. I've been really nervous because I know I'm that girl. I know I'm a blow, mm-hmm. and I know he's gonna come for my ass. But I also know that sometimes it's okay to take an L. Yeah, because that'll be a good L with that beat, and just give him all that because that'll just give me the right promotion, the right the right spotlight. You know, so I'm definitely gonna do that. So I got three major videos coming up. Stay fucked tune. Frenchie gang, Bob. Frenchie gang, y'all better look out. Mm-hmm. Nah, for sure. But you know, when you do that, you doing you your podcast thing too. Mm-hmm. Don't you? Oh, Go also, ahead. I have the speaking facts. Okay. Um, every Wednesday at eight p.m. Um, I have the link on my. I will be dropping the link to my. Well, my YouTube is already on my Instagram. I mean, y'all my Instagram. So I will be posting my videos soon on there. And also, I'll be going live on Facebook. Frenchie, Frenchie. Hmm. 
Um, also, I have another podcast. Now, I haven't came up with the name. I will Friday. But on this podcast, I will be allowing y'all to also, the artists, y'all can come and perform y'all songs mm -hmm. after y'all do y'all interview. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Check me the fuck out. Tune in. Let's hold. Yeah, we finna do it big. We finna Let's do hold. it big in the city. Triple D that. Nah. No, this hold. Mm -hmm. You be going viral on your, on your podcast. I do. <laughs> what is up with you and what, like? I think it's honestly, like, I'm honest. You know, like, I, I'm i I'm not afraid to be vulnerable in front of people. Okay. A lot of women, and I feel like that's why I do go viral. Because a lot of women be want to put up a tough, a tough thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, and they'll be like, nah, I wouldn't do no shit like that the whole time they're at home getting fucked over. You know, and you know, y'all know, y'all men, you know, because if a woman can hide anything, we can hide some shit, but our men know us, you know, mm -hmm. you know, so, but yeah, so I really feel like that's why I be going viral and I stand on what I feel because I really feel that way. So you really don't suck no dick? I will, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not, that's not taking pleasure. That's just something, that's just something like... No, like, it would have, I would, you know what I say, like, I have to be, I don't do oral like that. Okay. I'm not, I'm, you know, I, and to be honest, even though my men love to give me oral, I don't even really like oral like that. Like, I like intimacy. Mm -hmm. I like penetration. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, I will, if I'm in that mood, I'm happy, you know, and he want his dick suck, I'm gonna suck it, but it's not like I'm just. Uh, every week, yeah, you know, maybe twice a month, maybe once a month, you know, maybe none at all, uh, maybe know. none at all, <laughs> you know, Ooh. it is what it is. Say <laughs> 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, but you know, I don't be, I don't, and plus, I got a bad tooth. I feel like if he really want his dick sucked, he would get this tooth fixed. Yeah. You know, a lot of women out here sucking dick. And got doing, cavities. Got cavities. Got all kind of shit they need to get in line. It, now, I hope it don't sound like a prostitution because it ain't. You no, know, because this no. is my man. I'm no. a, I, I still suck it rarely without him getting the tooth fixed. Hmm. Even though I ain't even told him to. Hmm. You know, but hey, I'm not. And then again, I'm not married. I feel like a lot of things. The same thing does. You know, which it really sounds hypocritical because, like, I'm not married, but I'm still doing it. Yeah. So, but I don't have to go as hard because, you know, it's a difference between, like, men say it's a difference between my girlfriend and wife. It's a difference between my husband and my man. Mm -hmm. You know, so again, but he's pleased, well, you know? Yeah. I, but you know what? And let me make this clear if he acts, I'll do it, but he's not really into that. He yeah. don't really be worried about that. Yeah. So I think. I think I'm good from you're the in hips a good now. Situation. Yeah, you just, yeah, you know, I'm good. You're not lazy. So are you? So you like your dick suck? I'm not. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Yes, you do. You smile. Yeah, this yeah is I mean, really smile. Nah, I mean, I this I'm not gonna sit no, because I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna just be like, <laughs> I was just gonna be like, um. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but it's just like, no. Because when a nigga get it, nigga do like it. Nigga enjoy it, but it's not like, I must have it. But like, it ain't no, exactly. You know, so it ain't when, no I feel like girls that do that have low self-esteem. The, the ones, either they coochie ain't as good as they mouth. so they have Some people just, some people don't like it. And you know what? You're right. Some do. Because I be hearing some of them like anal too. Yeah, it's so, it just know. like some people actually like. That's why I feel like if you don't like it, don't do mm -hmm. it. Because it's not going to be. It ain't going to be good. It's not good at but all. But yeah, so, but let me make it clear. When I do get in the mode and I yeah. do what I do, everything I do, I do it good. And that's why I don't have to do it often. Because hmm. so like when I do do it, I, I, I do what the fuck I need to do. Hmm. Yes. But I'm not a dick sucker. <laughs> I got, I'm Creole. You see my lips? I don't even got big lips. I got to paint the You don't really need the lips. It's really more of the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really more of that back, that back area. As <laughs> long as you get to that back area, and, and, and make it do what it do. <laughs> that's all it's going to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all, yeah. Oh, you're that's too much. Yeah, nah, for sure. Oh, but it was another little viral moment you had on there. What was the other one? You, they went crazy. You was talking about uh, what you 
what you say? You mean what you said? I uh, say so much shit. It, it seems like when I really say it genuinely, I don't be no. That's when I go. You said something. You said motherfuckers it. be mad, and I be like, y'all really mad at this, or y'all really feel some type of way? I, I was, okay, um, I don't man. say no to my man. That's one that a lot of women are mad at me about because even though I don't, even though I don't suck dick like that, but because he don't ask. You know, so I never say no to my man intimately. Like, I feel like it's selfish for women to say no to their man that's taking care of them. And taking. when I say taking care of, not only money-wise, because I know somebody's going to get in the comments and be like, oh, you know, it's about money. No, when I say a man taking care of you mentally, physically, financially, your kid, if you have that um, fuck with your family hard, you know, make you happy. Yeah, for sure. Why would you tell him no when it's nothing to make a nigga nut? Like, a quickie. You know, okay, you tired, just lift your leg up, give him some coochie, get it over with. That's, you know, if you really love him. I done went viral also off of um, trannies. The tea ladies, they was pissed off with me, you know, because I said they were men, and they are, you know, because they have different chromosomes than us. It is what it is. You can change everything, but you can't change that, you know, so... But really, what caught your eye? It's something that I must have said that really caught your eye. It was something. I can't really remember, but I... You remember I hit you up, man? Was it about the feet and niggas? I'd be like, I don't like to take a man out to eat. That's what it was. Oh, nigga. What is... <laughs> that's exactly... She likes to get <laughs> but, yeah. but no, 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 no. I'm like... All right, I want to go... Like, this... I like this little spot right here. You not going to take me there? Like, no, we, why would I... Why you you should take us. Now, let me make it clear. Now, if we go through a drive through oh, baby, let me hear you this 20 for this, this chicken. <laughs> nah. You know, <laughs> let me get you this burger. Not the but burger. the thing is, I'm going to tell you why, though. And I cook. I cook for my man. Not I'm for a, sure. I'm, I cook. Sure. So it's not like I'm just neglecting my man. Not but sure. I do um, feel like it's a sex. It's roles. A lot of women don't believe in their, a role. I believe in a role. Okay. I believe that I have a place with my man and he have his place. Not for sure. And I like to, when I go out, I don't want nobody seeing me pay for shit. I want them to know that my man caters to me. Not for sure. You know, just like my man would want people to know that I cater to him. You know, so... Like when 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 men go around the family and y'all expect for um y'all your woman wife etc to fix your Not plate, plate. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Not for sure. Yeah, it's the same thing. Make my plate. Make sure I'm good. Pay for the dinner. It's just dinner, you know. And it's nothing to feed a woman, a bitch. It's nothing to feed a bitch because niggas feed bitches every day. So I I just don't like to come out of my pocket. And it's, a, it's like you romance me. You know, you make me tender. I'm not making you tender. You know, and I ain't, no, I no, uh-uh. So that's just it. I'm not, I'm well, not you paying broke it down. You broke it down and made a soft landing. Yes. I can, I can get yes, it. Yes, I know you tried. But on a nigga, no, but on a nigga birthday or something, you go on, jump out there, you a nigga. You know what? That's so funny. Even on the birthday, I didn't. I did not pay for his food. His mama did. And she went with us. And I seen how she looked too. She looked shocked as fuck. I was like, look, I don't. I don't. And he know what it is. He know that I take care of him in any way he wants. No, for sure. But I don't want to do that. And I'm pretty sure it's something that he's not going to want to do in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And I don't have nothing to do but respect that. Well, you broke it down for us. We, mm -hmm. we can calm down, fellas, because yeah. she had us fucked up that day. Like, oh, yeah, you what? definitely was fucked up. Yeah, about like, that. What you been trying to like, here. Yeah, like, what? What you mean? You're not taking a nigga out to eat. It's like, not, ma it's, it de but I, I see what you It's saying. not masculine I, yeah, yeah. either, by the way, for no, a woman sure. to. I feel like I'm a man when I do that kind of stuff. You know, like, even though I you don't, like, if I was, I never seen my mama do it. That's what it is. You, I, you know, I never, and even, like, if I was to call my father with a problem, he would tell me to come on. Mm -hmm. And he's 85. He'd be like, you know, I own some houses out here. You can pick one, baby. You can live whatever it is. You don't have to deal with it. So, I have never seen my mama pay for a date. You know, when I have, and I'm not, and I don't want my daughter paying for a date, you know, unless her husband is sick. Now, let me make it clear. If he's sick and he ain't able to, you know, okay. Mm. But other than that, you're able, you're healthy. Everything. You ain't life lost your job. Life is and cream. Yeah, life is, life is good. Okay. Why the hell okay. am I coming out of my pockets to feed yeah. us? Like, you want to But if it do go left, 
Yeah, I would. You ride or you going to... I would, I would definitely ride because my men take care of me. Okay. As a man should, you uh-huh. know. So it's no reason not to ride. Now, if he, mm-hmm. if I was ever to, I'm not gonna say ever because I have, I have dealt with a man that didn't um, treat me correctly, fully, you know. So I'm not gonna sit here like I'm perfect, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I did not ride for him mm-hmm. because why the fuck would I ride for you? You didn't take care of me how you were supposed to. Yeah. You know, on, the and however the fuck mm-hmm. I feel like it was because we yeah. all got our opinions on how someone's supposed to take care of us. No, for sure. Yeah. We all got standards. Mm-hmm. And this French is hot, so you niggas don't come with that bullshit. Don't come with that bullshit. Look, it's niggas, matter of fact, it's niggas holding grudges against me mm-hmm. right motherfucking now over wow. some coochie. Over some coochie. Let it go. Over the way. Let, let me be great. Please, let her be great. Stop hating on me over some coochie. Miss Friendship for President, goddamn me. We're going to put it on the floor right now. Right now. Goddamn Junkie. right. Designer. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. I remember days when the nigga I ain't had. It turned me to a savage, now a nigga living lavish Pass me the drink, yeah, know I'm pulled up Put a four up in my cup, now a nigga turned up Ay, See me a op, I'ma let his ass have it Niggas talking reckless, so I'ma show him who the baddest Money mine at the family, loot junkie, that's the clan Never show my hand, but that little bitch, she a 10 I almost pop my shit, now you see what I'm seeing All them days I was grinding, nigga, we wasn't playing Glocks with them switches, how you little niggas land? Cool as a fan, I always wanted to be the man Watch me work my move, I'm trying to get it, trying to stay paid Can't love on nobody, cause these hoes be trying to get saved Ran up me a bag, ain't no way I'm falling off I was at Scott, just posted up, trying to serve a nigga soft He think he a big bird, we know you a runner, boy Boy, you ain't from over here, we know you ain't no stunner, boy I can go loot junkie design and switch it up, go drip the fashion I'm taking pictures with that gun, we know Shop you niggas today. But say, shout out to my sponsors. This is another game of show, please. Now look, Miss French, you picked this. I didn't pick this, so don't get mad at me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Where the shot glasses? Where the shot? Oh, I don't think gonna take no shot. You might not. I don't know. No, because you know I'm an open book. Oh yeah, I know. That's why I say you might not have to take no shot. You might, you know. I don't know. This one gonna be good. Huh? Yeah, this gonna be You've juicy. You've been trying to get me off this, here. This gonna I can't be real stand juicy. And I just hope you know. Go on, pick I one. Pick your first one. No, I got it. You do, yeah, you don't have to do no work. I just want you to sit there and okay. look cute and pretty. Okay. Yeah, let me do the manly work. Okay. Do my masculinity. Oh, hey, yes. Yes. All right. Who is your current crush? That's my like that, current that. crush. Besides your husband. Okay. Um. I'm not married. Oh, okay. Okay. Just keep um, her. Okay. <laughs> I'm not married. See? Okay. See how I have to say this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, fellas. So, um, my, I don't. Ain't nobody you like now? Don't no nobody crush. do it for you? Like, right, who was your crush as a kid okay, growing up? Okay, um, definitely had a Sheldon. It was a, a boy at school. Rest in peace to Sheldon. Okay. Um, Shell D, Lancaster High School. Okay. Um, he got shot, but um, he was definitely one of the best basketball players, and he was a very handsome guy. But it is somebody I know. It it gotta be somebody out there that I think is very attractive. Um, I'd be like, goddamn, he Bar- Bernice. Bernice. Now I'm not gay. Oh, but Ber- oh yeah. Bernice oh. is a bad ass bitch. No, she is. You know, she, um, is. she. You know, so I really just can't say crush. I just admire her looks. Her, her. her she she has kept up. it together yeah. all these How years. Is she? She's about 43. 40, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but yeah, Bernice and a man. Um, a man. Damn. Why don't I have a crush on none of you niggas? Do better. No. Oh, get your looks up, fellas. It's not the looks, and I think that's what it is. Like, it got to be the, pa- like, I like a, the whole package. No, for sure. Yeah, like, I like the whole package. The energy. The energy. The BDE. The, and I and I don't even just like a, a too handsome man. Like he can be yeah, handsome, yeah. but you know, like a little ugly. Not even a little ugly. So I just want to make sure that it's not it's not about looks to me. I like yeah. character. For sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. This character goes a long way. Pick mm-hmm. another one, love. Whoop. I want to read so bad because I, I want to know what you got up. Have you ever slept with your friend's current nigga or ex nigga? No. Man, they no shy shit like that. No, like, no. You know what's so funny? Cause I like older guys, so it has never been 
Yeah. We never, none of my girls and me have never liked the same type of niggas. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if women are in a group and they like the same type of men, they're going to fuck each other men. No, what's up? You got to, you know, make sure, girl, what's, what's your nigga look? Yeah. We good. Yeah. That nigga young. Yeah. That nigga is crazy. That nigga be making you go half. I'm done. No, so he make you go you, half. I know he going to want something from me. I'm you good. think you like older men because your father's older? I really... I think so too. I do. I was raised around an older man. My my father is an older man, so hey. Yeah. No, that's cool. Pick but up. you know what? Let me make that clear. What? I really liked older. It really is because those be most of the men that approach me. Like, of course, men my age approach me more on the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, or in a club, and that's not where I want to meet any fucking man. Mm -hmm. You know, but like older men are confident. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. have to tell them. You know, I, I can't scare them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm really surprised I'm able to look in your eyes. A lot of men, I'm not able to look in their eyes. Wow. They look away. You intimidate me? Yeah, what like you they... Doing? You be like growling or something? What you do? <laughs> growling? You know, what you scaring them off? What you scaring them off? What's going on? Growl? That'll fuck up I my mean, voice. I'm I got to use that on the mic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, but I don't know. You know, I did have a... a when I had a moment in my life where I was fucking rude. I was a rude ass bitch. My early twenties. Mm. Yeah, I was you really rude. Down. Yeah, I didn't calm down. I used to curse people out and shit. Matter of fact, I remember I was doing music a little while with Clone Free. Shout mm. out to them. And I had got booked for a music video. And the damn guy that um ended up asking for a model, he seen it was me and he knew me from Facebook and he was like, all she do is curse people out and shake her ass. And I forgot who the he fuck said, he was. He said that at left? Yeah, he no, he told that to him. To oh, um to oh, okay. the ATM guy who was my manager at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so like he was like, Oh, I know her. I know her baby daddy too. And all she do is shake her ass and curse people out. But I cursed him. But what he didn't say was I cursed his ass out because he know my baby daddy. And his ass was in my inbox trying to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. You know, like you had a reason to get nah, cursed the fuck out, you know. Sure. So, but yeah, so yeah, so I was definitely more snappy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you yeah. found Jesus. We glad you found him. Found him. Found Hallelujah. Him. Pick you another. Woo. Kiss the cameraman on the cheeks or take two shots. Mm, I kiss him on the cheeks. Woo, big G. No, I'm saying I'm gonna take the shots. Big G. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see shots. Get in trouble. Look. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. he might got a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoop, this well, one. I am a good looking woman. I'm glad you he was are. ready because I would have been hurt. And she would have been like, hell no. Nah. Yeah. One more. Miss French in the building. Ooh. Okay, woo. Pick you another one. Sipping her wine. She bought her own wine, y'all. And I don't even like this kind. You know, you like that kind. It's like bitter. Well, we ain't gonna give no problem. Red. I don't know you're not with this. Have you ever had someone spit in your mouth? If so, when? No. What is up with that new. I, like, what I is, don't know. You've you, you been seeing it, right? Everybody. I've been seeing it. I've been hearing it. I seen Kevin Gates spitting a bitch. Oh, mouth. he didn't even know this woman. Whoever her man is, need to go get tested. Kick, no, kick her in her ass. Beat her. I, you Leave know, like leg in her. <laughs> get tested, cause I'm telling you that hoe dirty. Yeah. And and the thing about it is, um, that's it's like humiliation to me. No, for sure. I am, even though I talk my shit, even in my music, I sound like I'm dominating and shit. I'm very intimate. I'm very sensual. I'm very emotional, and my feelings would be hurt if I open my eyes and I'm been a, I'm in it. My man, I look I'm like yes, he's tearing this shit up, <laughs> and I'm taking a deep breath because I'm coming and he's spitting my mouth like I would be hurt. I would cry like I, I, I wouldn't see. fuck with him anymore. Well, I don't fuck with my like why would you do me to, like why would you do me like that? Like you spit on me. Like, no, uh-uh. You spit in my mouth. No, that's not it. She said it, y'all. I've been trying to say it. I don't know. I'm that is, with it. That is, that's the scum. No, you know. I'm like, mm-mm. No, okay. that's humiliation. That's not pleasure to okay. me. Me neither, love. Pick another one. Pick another one. 
What was your worst ex and explain why? Shit, I don't think you okay. had no worst ex. Shit, what was your worst ex, girl? <laughs> explain this nigga. You got one? I actually do. Okay. Oh my god, he was crazy. Was he? Yes, he was a Scorpio. Oh, I thought they were the good ones. Okay. Is there any Scorpios in the building? No, I'm no. safe. Okay, yeah, you safe. So, um, <laughs> yes. Um, so again, we was together actually. Like three years, mm -hmm. the nigga tried to kill me because mm. he cheated. Because he got caught up. Yep, and and you know what was what was funny about it? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he was cheating. Mm -hmm. The girl came and told on him because he would ignore the bitch so much, and that's why I was trying to give y'all game. If y'all have a side bitch, treat your side bitch right. So she won't have to come and tell on you. Mm -hmm. And your bitch can live a happy motherfucking life. Yeah, Why I gotta be miserable? Because she miserable. Mm -hmm. You know? She can fuck your whole emotion up. All that. You know, so again, um, I didn't, and like I said, I'm okay with side bitches, but he couldn't afford a side bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, he couldn't, he couldn't afford a side bitch. And I just feel like he didn't deserve a side bitch. So I didn't want to fuck with him no mm. more. <laughs> so, but he ended up um, stalking me. He never beat my ass, but he screamed at me. So that's one thing I don't like. I don't like a man to raise his voice at me. No, for sure. You know, um, I try my best not to scream at a man either because I don't like that. Like, the verbal abuse is just as bad as physical, physical you know. Yeah, so sure. um, definitely don't play that with a man. And then, like... When we really, really was done, I had I started like staying away from my house, you know, um, cause he was stalking me. He would just sit outside and shit. And then, you know, um, he also followed me to another guy's house in a fucking gated community. Thank God he had a gate around his fucking community. You know what I'm saying? So, but then um, I was like, fuck it, I'm just not gonna go home. I ended up out. It's when I started doing nails and shit, cause it's a whole story behind it. Mm -hmm. But. Y'all like to make this fast, right? I mean... Because I know y'all like to cut shit out anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, we, okay. just, we ride, love. Because y'all want to know what made it crazy. Yeah. So, like, I was doing... I had started doing nails, so I gave my homegirl the shit. She kept begging me for it. So I was like, I'm going to go back to my house for it. <laughs> I ain't been to the house in two weeks. Somebody from the hood let him know I was at the damn house. And, like, um, my brother was like, somebody said he's on his way. I was like, okay, I'm for to go. So I hop in the car with my sister and shit. My homegirl had her little newborn baby in there. I got the shit for her. And this nigga come out of nowhere and T-bone us with a newborn baby in the car. So me, I would never put him in jail, even though he scared the fuck out of me. But he got locked up for that. So he's still in jail. And he still called me. Let me make this clear. He got a homeboy on my page named Jordan that um, be reaching out to me. Jordan, <laughs> stop this shit. And, and Jordan be trying to tell me, man, he changed. I'm like, I don't even know. The nigga probably ain't getting out no motherfucking time soon. You know, but I would never. And I kept telling him, like, even when he asked to three-way me, I wanted to give him closure because the nigga sitting down for a long time. <laughs> you know? I wanted to give him closure. <laughs> I was like... I'm scared of you. And like, I really am scared of him. Mm -hmm. Worst ex ever. Damn. Yes. Homeboy, man, do your time. Leave Miss French alone. Leave she French alone. She out here living her best life. I'm living my best life. You know, you probably got a phone there. You're going to watch this YouTube. You're going to see what's going on. So just leave her alone, big brother. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick another one, Miss French. Got stalkers and shit. Yes. He did not play with my ass. Read it. No. You Have you ever off. tried anal? No. Actually, my um dude be trying to tickle my booty hole, you know, the little... Why are you hitting from the back? Whatever you position, like I, I giggle. I'm childish. <laughs> That's some childish shit. <laughs> oh, no, that tickles. Don't do that. It's weird. It's some weird shit. No, I'm not with it. No, we not Yeah. Do y'all know about hemorrhoids? Yeah. You know, women get hemorrhoids for um pushing in labor. Mm. Yeah, so I don't want nothing fucking with my booty. There you go. Pick another one. Mm. Right there. If you were offered a hundred K to make a porno, would you do it? Mm. No. No. Mm -mm. Not a honey bun. No. Mm. I'm gonna post this on OnlyFans real quick. There you go. No. No. I'm, 
Mm. You know, I don't even have a video of me ever getting fucked. Hmm. Ever. Now, I have a video of me getting my coochie ate. That's it. Mm. I don't want to be seen getting fucked. I look ugly. <laughs> but you run. You ain't got to be getting fucked. Ugly. You, <laughs> ugly you, faces. What's the, what's the, what's the, ugly fucking come out in my what's zone. The, what's, what's the little sex thing? I what you like? A, you a man? Gotta, is it like, it like gotta, a... You, it got to be <laughs> I be focusing. Yeah, I'm like, I got to be me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm not a porn type of girl because I feel like I can get it. In the other way, so why would I do it like now? If it was like to get my daughter a liver, to <laughs> take like to take care, yeah. to save my daughter life type shit. Yes, that's honorable. Other than that, which a <laughs> porn, I don't know if it is. I don't know if that's sarcastic or not because nah. porn is a porn. But other than that, I can get some money. Nah, but you no. know, but if they was like, hey, you know, I'm the doctor, and the only way I'm gonna. Make a video with me, and I'm gonna take care of your daughter. That's other than that, <laughs> other than that, yeah, other than that, fuck, yo, other, nah, fuck nah, that. Sure. I, I, I know struggle. Nah, for sure. I done made it through struggle. I'm not scared of struggle. I don't want to go back. But I'm, and I'm glad that I experienced that. A lot of girls would do anything. Like for example, Cassie. I'm sorry, you're a victim. You know, a victim is a victim. Mm -hmm. But a lot of girls would do anything for money. Mm -hmm. And then they want to cry victim afterwards because the humiliation that taunts them. As a woman, we think we're deep thinkers. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, sure. um, that would hunt me that people know about that shit. You mm -hmm. know, so, yeah, uh-uh. You think no. that's what that was up, Jason? Mm -hmm. And he cashed her out quick, too. He so did. That, that he was, did that shit. Yeah, he did that shit. But my thing about that is... um. I don't really, even though she's a victim, because that's what we're supposed to say, but I feel like a victim is forced to do something. Mm -hmm. A victim don't get rewarded, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. No, yeah, I mean, a victim don't get fame. A victim don't get albums. A, a victim don't um, get shopping sprees. A victim exotic is... Vacations. Exotic vacations. <laughs> exotic vacations. Uh, a victim down. And I and I wanted to say that because it's a lot of victims out there that's scared to come out. And I really wish y'all do. You know, and when y'all do, don't take no money. If Take some money too because it's victim paid for everything. Mm -hmm. Even when somebody rob you, you know, the person that rob you, even in uh, the, uh, um, domestic violence, victim paid, you know. But make sure you prosecute them too. Mm -hmm. You know, because... People need to sit the fuck down and, and really think about what they be doing to people. No, for sure. Yeah, it's fucked up. I wouldn't I wouldn't ever. Yeah. You know, I'm going to lock a nigga up quick, and I say that all the time. And that's another thing that um I have a question for you, even though this is your show. Mm -hmm. oh, come on. We show flow. Okay. So, I have a homegirl. Mm -hmm. And I really hate to start off like that because I really do have a homegirl, and this is not my situation. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, people be like, This is you. Mm -hmm. But um, so she met up with a nigga that's been trying to pursue her for years since like about 2016. So she finally met up with him. She met up with him late because she was supposed to go and um go on a date, but she was doing makeup. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like when they finally met up, she let him know, look, I gotta go and get my child. I've been, you know, I'm out this and that, so I'm gonna just stop by because I've been putting you off for so long and I, I'm really interested. Mm. She got there and he forced himself upon her. Mm. Now this is where the problem come in because she told him she didn't take a bath. She said no five times, but he kept pulling her clothes down to where she gave in and it was like, okay, now. Even when you in a relationship, your girlfriend gave you some okay pussy. You done got on my nerves here. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know. Some men can relate. Some can't. You know, because I know I done gave some okay pussy. But that's my man. Yeah. You know, but a man that I'm meeting with for the first time, no, from the first time is no. And I consider that rape after the first no. No, for sure. Because if a woman come off that you never been intimate with, I want to say this clear. You never been intimate with. You're just meeting, and she say no, and you're still forcing yourself up on her until she say yes, because you done damn near, you done pretty much took a fucking clothes off. Do you consider that right? I consider that right. Yes, that, I mean, that's most definitely, after the first no is right. I totally agree. And no, no, is, no, no. is no. And for a nigga to keep going like that, it's only natural for her to kind of get scared, scared. like yes. nigga, okay. 
It's getting weird. Yes, like he weird might be vibes. Yes. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> like like you don't know what a nigga's mental state is. So, ladies, I would always advise you to um, not pull up to these niggas' house. Don't. Like, just... I, and that's what I and she, you know what we said that. <laughs> like a lot of men, so, like I was saying, it's a lot of men. Not to cut you off again. No, for sure, you good. A lot of men right now that's in good places that can help me elevate is mad at me for not pulling up on them. But I don't pull up on them because it's not legit. Like we need to go on a date. No, if you're sure. not going on a date, if you're interested in me. And it's not because I want your fucking food, because I can buy my own food. I can even, even if I'm doing bad and I can go sit, I can go to the food stamp office and stand yeah, in line, sure. you know. Um, but it's because I don't want to be alone with men because it's men like that no, that sure. would force them fucking selves sure. up on me. Like, no. But I feel like any nigga in their right mind that's going to be on the vibe you're looking for ain't going to. I totally agree. And that's you know, going to be your first. I really wish she would have just said no. And be yeah. like, I'm gonna meet you some other time. I'm tired as fuck, yeah. but she was being friendly. Yeah. Well, and not yeah. in a bad way. She was being a woman that really was interested finally. Hmm. Unfortunately. But yeah. You know, I can't I can't believe it. Yes, that shit fucked shit up. Shit wild out here though. You gotta be careful. I, I don't understand because I keep hearing women selling coochie for forty dollars. So why is niggas why is niggas taking pussy when it's forty dollar coochie out there? It's probably a scam when I'm niggas getting robbed when they go. <laughs> 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 it's been a fun if she look come on now y'all nigga know man y'all stop this shit man but <laughs> what is the freakiest thing you have ever done I don't think you like the freakiest thing yeah. I've ever done oh my god lick the balls you know what that is true I consider that freaky yeah I get that vibe from that's about it you get to buy from no three. I'm boring. No, I I don't like coochie. I don't like girls like that. Now yeah. I like to look at women like Bernice. Bernice yeah. is beautiful. She's like a work of art. No, for sure. You know, skin but and everything. skin like everything. You know, um, but bumping coochies. No, it's stupid. It don't make sense to me. No, for sure. You a strip club girl? No. No. Because no, I uh, if I ain't got it, if I'm not going with a nigga that's gonna blow some money. I'm not going because I feel like they deserve what they work for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, I'm not. Okay, let's pick up this one. Because well, I ain't blowing my money. I know you ain't did this, so we <laughs> not even. We was going to ask her. You're she, making me sound boring as fuck. Miss French. No, I'm, you I'm know. Just, what the fuck? Have you ever We know she ain't did this. Wait. So, eight ass. Hell no. Not, but you. Look at what I said. You know these females out here eating that butt? They is. And these niggas out here freaked out, let them know. You niggas look, is suspect. I wouldn't give a fuck what a nigga talking about. Look, I have a cousin who eat booty. Mm. And she is beautiful. Hmm. No, it's, it's some beautiful. It's, mm. it's some beautiful bitches out there eating ass. It and is. I'm. And broke niggas' asses at that. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so That's confused. A munch munch. That's a munch munch. They want a bunch. Yeah. I be so fucking confused because so be broke. <laughs> you know, so because you know, I heard, I heard some celebrities, some top, some some top celebrities. Oh yeah, get weird up there. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. they like their booties ate. Mm -hmm. So, but they pay them bitches. You know, and I that can respect the bitches so getting paid. But you know, um, I just couldn't. I can't. That's so. That's so feminine to me. That's so girly. Uh no. That's sick. No, shit. that's so girly. I don't even know how you niggas can position yourself to eat. Cause it tickles with a finger. So no, I know nigga, that shit you tickles. gotta bend over, nigga. You gotta do some old gay. Like I don't, I don't want my ass ate. What is something you feel guilty for wanting? I definitely be feeling, um, I don't feel guilty for wanting anything. Now, no, you know what? Sometimes I feel guilty uh, for wanting my, um, my, my teen years back when I got pregnant for my daughter father. Mm -hmm. Them years, I really wish I could have had them back. I feel like I gave, which I did. I gave him the best of me. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to experience life mm -hmm. before I had my daughter. So sometimes I feel guilty, you know, 
about that. That's when you was uh, in the house, just mm-hmm. just sitting the fucking wasting away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not even wasting away, but you know, cause it sounds so. Cause I say this all the time. <laughs> I love being taken care of, but I still want to be active. No, for sure. Like I still want to be active. I don't want to just be stuck in the fucking house doing no, sure. nothing with, you know. I don't. I don't want to be stuck in the house doing nothing. No, for sure. We good. Mm-hmm. So, but that's about it. No, for sure. Then I don't feel guilty. Shout out to my sponsor. That was another game of show, please. It's Frenchy, man. Say, for them folks that need them to follow you and find you on social media, what's all these platforms, social media platforms and all okay, that? Okay, um, Original Frenchy. Original Frenchy Frenchy on Instagram. Frenchy Frenchy on Facebook. Frenchy Frenchy on um, YouTube, too. Yep. What you got? I'm feeling the tequila. Yeah. I'm, you know, you took a few of them, so you... But you're going to keep it cute and classy. That's one As thing always. I can do, man. You're going to keep it real cute. What was you doing at, what was it, Halls you was at? Was you giving that chicken or was it Weird. on 52nd? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, Halls yeah. chicken. What you, what, you, what you doing up there? What you, them your folks well, up there what? Yes, it is. They're, they're definitely my folks. And I know all the people from the hood. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Shannon, that's mm-hmm. my homeboy. Okay. Even though he's a smoker. Look how I'm talking about a homeboy. So no, smoke just... my, um, it is what it is. You know. That, man, look, them but folks yeah. know more shit than anybody then your pastor, nigga. They do. They know. Them folk, do you? They might but be dope. He had on these special. damn. He had on two Mitch Mac shoes. Mm-hmm. But he's such a good spirit. A, a lot of them. Are, he's such a good nah, spirit. Nah, for real. Cause they be happy. Happy to the bitch. Happy to the bitch. And, 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 and it's so happy crazy because bitch. he has never disrespected me. Nah, for sure. Hey, bro. I, well, I, I ain't his uncle. Cause all of them is. They, but they. Yeah. They, but you know, yeah. So I'm, nah, I definitely sure. was up there. That's my nah, people. That's what's up. That was mm-hmm. up. Well, he's not my people, but the Halls is. Shout out to um Halls. Y'all make sure y'all go to the one um off Lancaster Road. In 52nd. Uh-huh. Yeah, Charles. Shout out to Charles, to Deanna. hmm Yes. Got the best motherfucking chicken in Dallas. Goddamn right. Now mm-hmm. you know it. Okay. It's the choke and we gotta go. I'ma holler at you folks.